Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, really truly seeing things for what they are. Being able to see certain situations or any situation is brought something for you to learn or teach towards others are also letting go so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while uh, and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you uh, are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and also if you feel like the video is being very informative to you and you uh, or even giving you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times as well as uh, wanting to know something about their life path or even their soul purpose uh, please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with uh, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today I got this real peaceful meditation on like I said the last two has just been making me too relaxed so um um, it's called Access Your Higher Self. Meditation, uh, music, relaxation, uh, music number two. And I will post that link in the description box below. Um, and my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, when people hate on you, they see the things within you, uh, within us, that sometimes we don't see within ourselves which is totally true there's a lot of times we go through our spiritual awakening and uh people start dropping out of our lives left and right left and right left and right and it's like you know at times we feel like we're jaded we're tainted you know we're jinky or something you know feeling like there's something wrong with us like why do people keep walking out of my life why do people lash out at me um, why do I always feel like my energy just rubs people the wrong way? I said, you know, and I had to really step back and see that at times, you know, cause it's like throughout my journey, um, I've lost a lot of people that I consider friends, you know, I don't wish them any ill will, you know, I, I mean, it really took me a lot because I used to always, you know, carry that grudge and that, you know, now it's like through the experience of the things that I go through on a daily basis, I had to understand you you should never take it personal, even though when we take it personal. You know, a lot of times, you know, uh, I have been told, you know, especially with people I used to, you know, talk to every day, um, you know, Rosalind, I admire you a lot. You know, even one of my, my, my co-workers, I really looked at her as like an aunt or a mom. She had always told me I remember I got fired from my job. <laughs> and she was telling me, you know, I went back to eat there or whatever at my, um, at the mess hall. This is like where there, if you're in near a, uh, a military installation, I used to cook for the uh, military. And, you know, I went back there because I was working you know, on the military installation, but not there. And I went back to eat at one of my old jobs. And, you know, one of my uh, co -work, ex coworkers was like, Rosalind, I always meant to tell you, I admired you. You always spoke your mind. You never kissed nobody's butt. And you didn't care how people felt about it because you were very open and honest about that. I said, a lot of people don't respect the game. I said, look, uh, like Cookie said from Empire, you know, a lot of people ain't made for those streets. That's why they made sad sidewalks. You know, not everybody's meant for that. So it's just a lot of times, you know, when I've connected with people that I held dear to my heart, that I, you know, considered friends, they backstabbed me. Uh, they played the fiddle with me to allow me, like if there was somebody I was close to, you know, um, that I worked with and I really considered them my friend, they would put me in certain positions to where I will lose my job because they felt like, oh, she's getting too much attention or, oh, too many people are talking to her or this and this and that. And I'm just like, I'm being naturally me. I mean, I'm not, 
you know, catering to nobody. I'm not, you know, I I always walk to the beat of my own drum. You know, I did some crazy things following behind my friends, but, you know, um, I had to learn the hard way not to do those things. So it, it's just like when we go through certain things like that and we try to really understand, you know, why do people do us the same, you know, do us the way they do. You know, you like, hey, you know, I've been that good friend um, or I've been that good companion. Or I mean, it's even in relationships as well. You know, I've, I've been in a lot of good relationships. I've been in a lot of toxic relationships. But all those relationships taught me something, whether it was a friendship or, you know, a relationship that a lot of people seem to strengthen me a lot of times that I wasn't able to deal with. Because if anybody got close to me and they knew like certain situations that would go on, like with my family and stuff like that, I really allowed, you know, I didn't really allow people to, into my personal life like that because I've considered you being special if you knew. Um, a lot of times people would tell me, I admire your strength for a person that gone through all the things you've gone through. You you joke a lot. You try to make sure you see smiles on people's faces. Um, you you give people words of encouragement. You're honest around things. You know, a lot of people always tell me, I always felt like you can talk to me. You never judge me. And I was like, why do people always say that? I said, I treat you how you want to be treated. You know, and hope and pray I get that in return. And a lot of times I have and a lot of times I didn't. Especially on this journey, you know, I've I found a lot of people and it was hurtful because at, at certain times it made me, you know, very appreh apprehensive towards a lot of people on like, I'm not going to open up no more, you know, I'll just help them along their way and go about my business and keep my distance. And those situations weren't placed in me in my life for me to be, you know, uh, antisocial, even though like physical, I'm antisocial. I, I just keep to myself. I'm very introverted. Um, but I like it that way, you know, it's, it's, it's been good because it's like people that, excuse me, I used to connect with were, you know, weed smokers, they drink. And I mean, I don't doubt, no, you know, down nobody because they do that. I respect it. You know, you still do that. Hey, you do what you do. I don't feel any less about you because you do those things because I did them as well. But it's like, I don't have in common with those people. And those a lot of times when we always hung, it was like we smoke together, drink together and, you know, crack a fool. But there was a lot of people that were jealous of me because of that, you know, um, and I was just like, I tell people, you've been through things. I mean, that's a sign of strength anyway, but a lot of people didn't express the things that I expressed. And you're like, dang, you really went through all this? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, you would never guess the way you act. I'm like, because I'm, I try not to dwell on those things. I don't want to think about them. You know, it's just like when I, I, I try to bring... Um, any last people, anybody know if I'm a one-on-one, -on -one, even with my videos, y'all know uh, sometimes I act stupid <laughs> at times because I like to make my videos very entertaining. I don't want to be sounding like a robot when I talk and be very textbooky. You know, it's just us being as hell because you try, even though there's serious topics that we're really trying to get through, really trying to get to know, it's like there's times you have to laugh. There's times you have to act silly and stuff like that. Being able to be that person that has full of, you know, that uplifting energy you can be able to share with other people. But it's just like you have to really pay attention to yourself. You as Hayokas, you are just an empath. We have went down some very rough roads, especially if you're a, a Hayoka or even an Indigo. You have went through so much hell, not to say nobody else hasn't either, but you have went through so much hell and you had to really endure this. But you, you, you know, a lot of us are at that time, you know, some people are still healing. So some people do, you know, be miserable and want other people to be miserable with them. Me, I'm not that type of person. Um, I want to be able to see people happy. I want to be able to have people tell me about their blessings. The only time I really get kind of, you know, offish about certain situations like that is if somebody's trying to you know throw it in my face and brag about something or whatever I've had that happen you know I've had people wanting to cling towards me because their life seemed to get better before mine's did and it's just like I said why would I be intimidated by that I've had lost friends because of the same thing because they feel like since my situation you know people sometimes people love you with limitations and I've did videos about that a couple of a while back you know about people loving you with limitations and those are the people you need to get out your life because it's like you know your love should be free 
you know, nobody should try to control you or nobody shouldn't say, oh, I love you only if this, you know, that means that they're not really loving you. They have to put restrictions on love and love should not have a time limit. Love should not have a certain length of time. I mean, a length or, you know, any kind of measurements or anything like that. Uh, either you love somebody or you don't. But when situations happen with you and people are lashing out on you and you really felt like you didn't do anything to deserve that know that they see that strength in you know they see that courage in you because a lot of people don't have that you know they they rather instead of them changing they rather sit around and be soaked in their own misery doing their own pity party so allow yourself to know this see try to see the things that they see within you you should be able to see within yourself you know there's so many people i connect with that i resonate with and it'll be things that i might didn't have faith in that i was doing or i didn't have faith in or confidence in myself that i did you know so i connect with people that you know are on this mission and they feel like i mean their you know their voice speaks much energy powerful energy but they always go off of that shadow of doubt or they always go you know of the things you know uh, basically feeding into the things that you know negative negatively pop, pops up in the head um all those different things that happen um it's natural but you have to be able to pay attention to you know i tell a lot of people you know because we're you know when i do one-on-ones with people a lot of us has been through abuse a lot of us weren't able to experience love or somebody to build them up or somebody give them words of encouragement saying you know because i tell my kids all the time even though i put them through hell as well because i was you know teaching them the things that i was taught so i didn't know that way of comfort i didn't know you know how to you know when they were little i hugged them but it was like when they got towards their you know 12 13 years it was really hard for me to comfort them even though i protected them all the time it was like hard for me to help show that embrace because I never got that, you know, it was just like, everybody told me I had to get over it, no matter what I went through, I mean, I could have lost my best friend, which I did, I lost two of my, my closest friends, um, within a couple of months apart, and I'm, I didn't have nobody to grieve with, I didn't have anybody to talk to about that, I had to be able to grieve, and it's probably sometimes I still, you know, go over that process, but it's a lot better now with time, but allow yourself to see the things in yourself that others see in you, because, I mean, there's, there's that, uh, that energy that you have that people envy you because you have that, my mom used to tell me that a lot, a lot of people are going to envy you for certain things that is not your fault. Um, you're going to end up dealing with a lot of things that you really don't completely understand. But it's just like when you have that power, you know, I tell my words towards people that I've interacted with. And then, you know, when they got their information, they just walked away or, you know, they used me to make sure, you know, hey, my life is good. And they were worried up to my face knowing I was still waiting on my blessing. So it was like I had to be able to exit out those people in my life and, you know, see things for what they truly are. I have the strength in myself. I have that words of wisdom, the knowledge, you know, things that people practice. I can do it off the bat, you know, all those different things. It's like, I always give people words of encouragement saying that you can do anything you want to do. If you, you know, if you put in the work, you know, anything is possible. So allow yourself to see the things that, you know, others see within yourself. Um, just for you being that person that has went through hell, of abuse of whatever you struggle with health wise as well for you to be able to open your open your heart up as well as your mind to be able to let people know what you went through is a sign of strength you know a lot of people feel like when you when you cry that's a sign of weakness I feel like when people hold in their emotions that's a sign of weakness because you're worried about what's gonna come out so don't don't take offense don't take it personal even though it's hard for us not to do that to know that you know when people see stuff and you i mean that that's it could be an honor but it's just like well dang they ain't gotta treat me like that yeah they don't but they see something in you they wish they had that they didn't have within themselves so allow those haters be your motivators being able to push you you know i have 
people that don't really care for me. They pray for my downfall. You know, they test me here on my, my channel as well. But those are my motivations to keep pushing. It's like, obviously, I'm doing something right. You know, I don't really have too many friends because they always tell you those real people don't carry too many friends. The ones that want to be sep uh, accepted by any measures have tons of friends. But, you know, allow yourself to grow. Allow yourself to be able to take yourself, dive deep into your, your own soul and your heart and see the things in yourself that you really didn't feel like was there. So I guarantee you're going to find something about yourself that you were really surprised of. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I want to give much love uh, to Lisa uh, McDevitt, um, Lisa Fast. Fast uh, face kings i hope i pronounced your last name right uh lost puppy as well um uh, miss keisha sassy k much love to you as well and i will see you on my next video y'all took me some daggone pain reliever and this mess is really you know relaxing my muscles i exercised for like about two or three hours last night until this morning you know what is it yeah until 10 10 to 3 so uh I will see you on my next video. I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there is somebody always out here playing, praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and um, gratitude towards others. Love and light and positivity, that's what I also meant as well. Uh, towards people, you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. So remember, like, and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, share, drop me a line and let me know you resonate. Especially, uh, I'll go ahead and give you a post notification shout out and I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.